Hi everyone, Kelt here. So this is a follow-up to the I Can See Your Mic video where Harry pointed out to Megan that she needed to adjust her collar as they left the car to go up the steps into St Paul's Cathedral. At the moment, it's being argued as to whether they actually are back in Montecito. Their plane was spotted on flight radar, but it was diverted twice. I'm not sure if they're actually in New York. So there was someone else who was saying that they've never left at all, that it's all a big lie, that they're still here. I don't think they're still here. I think they did leave. And it was said that airport ground staff saw them leave without any children, the same as when they arrived. The staff at the airport said that there were no children arriving with them. Yes, they could have travelled in a different plane, but how likely is that? Um, also, all the debate around whether Lily met the Queen, it doesn't seem as if there would have been time for all this if they left when they apparently did leave. It was also said that there was a very low-key party for her and Zara Phillips was there and her family. So how did they do that? Because they were at two different events on the same day that took up most of the day. So how did they manage to squeeze in a birthday party? That doesn't make sense either. So again, I think that's false. A photo released today of Lilibet and it's not answered all the queries. It's just created more because there's something about it that doesn't ring true. The photo of Megan alongside the photo, it's supposed to be taken on the same day, is the black and white photo is definitely taken much earlier, months before the other picture, because the hair of the child is a lot shorter. It has the same way of growing. If you look at the way the hair parts naturally, you can see that it's the same hairline. The child has the same ear. It's the same child, but the hair is definitely longer in the coloured picture. So it looks as if it's months apart, which would explain why Megan is wearing a warmer piece of clothing. But she's a lot thinner in that picture. I looked closely at her face and there's definitely, it's photoshopped. There's, it's definitely been altered around the right hand side of her face. I don't know if somebody was, somebody was taken out of the picture or if it was superimposed into the picture, or if she was just trying to use Photoshop to slim down her face. But there's definitely some changes there via Photoshop. So I'll look into that more, because this video is about the mic situation, the secret recording on the day of the St Paul's Cathedral ceremony which was supposed to be the last thing they appeared at and then they left. So it was said that both Harry and Meghan were wired and that it was discovered before they even got to St Paul's Cathedral, allegedly. My source says that the other royals were informed and that Harry and Meghan were scanned before they got there. The whole congregation were informed, allegedly, about Harry and Meghan carrying secret recording devices and were told to keep the conversation bland. This was not addressed beforehand because they did not want to confront them so as not to cause a scene for the Queen's Jubilee, allegedly. Imagine it happening on the steps and that they get frisked and turned away. The other royals, most of whom were already seated in St Paul's, were informed that Harry and Meghan were wearing these devices and not to engage with them at all. Harry tells Meghan as they get out of the car to fix her collar and he points it out and tells her to fix it. Since when does he do that? He never tells her to adjust her clothing. I've never seen him point anything out and let's face it, there have been times when she's had labels hanging off hems and all sorts of disasters with her outfits and he's never pointed anything out then. So why point to her collar, one side of her collar? They were actually chucked out of the UN building in New York City because they were wearing hidden recording devices back then. So this isn't anything new for those who are saying, oh, 
this is so unbelievable. You know, some of the comments have said, I don't believe this at all. This is ridiculous. It's not because they've actually been chucked out before because of this very thing. Some have asked in my previous video, where can the wires be seen? Well, I think you can see them in these pictures. There seems to be a light coloured cord in one of these pictures and what looks like either a dark wire or a shadow of a wire going across near the button in the centre of Megan's outfit. It was alleged that the button was a switch for the device. It was also suggested that she might be wearing a bulletproof vest as well. I don't know if she's that paranoid, but I would have imagined she would have been very hot if she was. If she was, why did she roll down the window of the bulletproof car? Several have pointed out that the collar is raised on her left side and that the wiring could have been running through it as it didn't look the same as the other collar. I agree with that. Also, one of my favourite channels, Jesus Enrique Rosas, the body language guy, pointed out that people often adjust their clothing when they're stressed, but it's usually pulling at the clothing, not lifting up the collar as Megan is doing. What she is doing with the collar serves no purpose. The collar is loose enough, so she's not pulling it out as if she's lifting it, as if she's, she's not pulling it out to make it more comfortable. She's fiddling with the collar, which she did several times, and it was always that one collar, not the other one. I'll put a link to the Body Language Guy video in the description. Have a look at it. He's really good. In fact, he's probably the only channel I watch about this subject. So it's very likely that her fiddling with the collar was because it had a hidden mic. She was sort of lifting it up as if to to free the collar a bit more. It's, it's strange. And also, at one time, she looked as if she was pushing a wire up underneath with her fingers. Harry pointing it out for her to adjust, I think, proves it. Why would Harry tell her to adjust any part of her clothing? And as I said, he never does normally. And there have been many times when he could have done that. So Harry telling her to adjust her collar as they get out of the car and then staring down at the point on her dress, which is sticking out, and he has a look on his face, which I think shows he's spotted the mic. And let's face it, Harry is never discreet about anything. And whatever his mood, you see it all over his face. So he's not very good at being undercover. With what looks like a wire coming loose from under her, she's got a look in her eyes that shows she's well aware of what's happening. Well, they were all informed about these recording devices because they did not want to risk anyone what amounts to being illegally recorded by that pair. Lady Chateau would have been aware and was looking at them seriously, so she would have been playing safe with her conversation. I doubt that she would have made any more than small talk anyway. There are concerns, though, over what she was saying to the children, Savannah Phillips, Mia and Lena Tyndall. It was said that she was shushing the children because she wanted to record the other conversations in the room and not the children. She didn't really have time to engage the children long enough to get them to give her anything interesting for Netflix, though it would have been an illegal recording of children without their parents' permission. I think it's pretty horrific that they were able to not just move across the other side of the room, but actually open the window. There are children, there are quite small children there who could have fallen out of the window. I think it's shocking that this was allowed to happen. It's being said that they left the country pretty, pretty quickly before the end of the Jubilee. I did hear differently that they were still here, but as I said, the plane got diverted. They, they could be somewhere totally different, could be in New York. So far, I'm hearing that there were no children as reported by ground staff at the airport when they arrived, and they have not been seen since. And allegedly, the ground staff also saw no children when they were supposed to have left. But there were items, children things like high chair, etc., which I think were props. I don't think they were loaded or unloaded from the plane. Not for them, anyway. So all this newspaper rubbish, talking about a birthday party for Lily, and her meeting the Queen is what they call a nothing burger. And I said, until pictures are produced, we do have this supposed picture of Lily, but we have nothing with the Queen. And apparently the Queen was supposed to have said no photos. She banned photos. She didn't want her meeting with Lilybet to be photographed at all. 
The British people are totally fed up with the lies and deceit from this pair, but it does look like this was a clever move by the palace. I thought there was something a little weird, also, about the Queen on the balcony. Something about it doesn't ring quite true. We saw the hologram of her in the coach, and I don't know, this just seems similar. I don't know if it was the very bright, luminous green outfit that she was wearing. It, I think it made it look almost like CGI. Then you have the line of vision of Louis and Catherine and something was just a bit off about it. They've done it for the Queen as regards the coach, so why not the balcony? Just my thoughts anyway. Hologram in the coach. It was the golden coach and the hologram was a younger version of the Queen, which was a video of the Queen at her coronation. So let me know what you think. Do you think that they were wired? Do you think that these photos prove it? And do you think that there was something off with the balcony shots at the end? And also, let me have your thoughts on the Lilibet photo. It looks so familiar. I don't know if it's because she resembles both of them or if she resembles an old photo of them. Someone said that she does look very much like the Yorks in this picture. Also, this child has an awful lot of teeth for someone who is only one year old. She looks like a toddler. I mean, I know children can walk at one, but she looks older. She looks like she could be 18 to 20 months old. What do you think? Let me have your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, and it was pointed out to me, that there were three people sitting behind Harry and Meghan in the cathedral who were the Queen's protection. I think there was one who was... MI5 sat behind them, definitely someone who worked for the Queen. I can't remember his name now. I did read it. So they were being protected by the Queen. It's quite ironic, isn't it? She gave them all the protection they wanted, but it was actually protecting them, you know, the rest of them, because it was said that he probably had the ability to use technology to scramble any recording that they would have done anyway. So it's actually a brilliant chess move by the palace. Please subscribe, ding my bell for more alerts for more videos, like if you liked it and share. Bye!